God bless you. God bless you. I believe you're excited and welcome again. I believe that this is a season where you are expectant and ready to see new things happening in your life and for change to be seen operating in your life. But there are few seven things that I would want you to get into a motion of practicing and also executing, especially in this season you are entering into, in order for you to see change, in order for your life to become effective, and in order for you to see results. Most of the times, year in, year out, a lot of people get into seasons with expectations, and many people write new resolutions of what they want to do, what they want to achieve, and what they want to have. But one of the things that would surprise you in all these things is that a lot of people want to see change, but they do not want to change themselves. And there are seven things you need to introspect within yourself in order for you to see the expected results that you are looking for. And one of the first things you have to look at is your attitude. Your attitude matters. You would realize that your attitude determines the atmosphere that you create around you. Your attitude determines the people that will stay in your life, the people you attract in your life, and the people that will live your life. It is very much important that in the season that you are entering into, you craft, you deal with your attitude, and you, 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 you know, you create an atmosphere through an attitude that is accommodating to other people. Number two, get into a position where you edit your life. Edit your life. Edit your life. It is very much important for you to edit and audit your life. You look at your life. You look at your surrounding. You look at the things that you have managed to achieve things that you've managed to fail. You look at the people that have been so instrumental in your growth and change in your life and people that have, you know, caused you to fail in certain things and people that have not contributed anything in your life. There are, as you edit your life, there are people you need to begin to appreciate more. There are people you need to remove in your life. You are not removing them in your life because they are bad people. You are not removing them in your life because they are, you know, they are evil. But as it concerns to your destiny, they are not instrumental in you achieving your destiny. It is very much important. It is very much important. Edit and audit your life. And this will require you to really sit down and think and look at everything that um, would have transpired in your life, the things you have achieved, and like what I say, the things you have failed. You look at what are your strengths. You look at what are your weaknesses. That will be very much important. Number three, make sure that you develop yourself mentally. Most of the times, we develop ourselves in a lot of things, but we forget to develop ourselves mentally. Readers are leaders. If you cannot read, you cannot lead. If you do not want to read, you will die in a ridge. One of the things I have realized is there is no change without change of mindset. Most of the times... We, 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 we look for different informations. You might have the right attitude. You might even have the right friends, company, um, and people that are intellectually sound around you. But personally, when you look at yourself, when you look at yourself personally, is your mindset right for the environment or for the destiny, for the purpose or for the goals that you would want to pursue? When the mindset is not right, you would realize that no matter what opportunity comes to you, you will not be able to, you know, to come to that point where you will um, take full advantage of it. They always say, if you give someone who has a one-bedroomed mindset, if you give them a mansion, 
they would turn the mansion into a one bedroomed atmosphere or the environment you know what will happen so your mindset is important get to read swallow grasp consume information that will be beneficial for your growth that will be beneficial for you becoming a better version of yourself number 4 make sure beyond any doubt make sure that you begin to develop your spiritual life as all things begin to grow your spiritual life is important your spiritual life is very much important why is your spiritual life important everything that is to happen in the earthly realm in the mundane dimension you would realize that it is affected by what is happening in the spirit to those that read the bible if you read your bible in the book of ezekiel chapter number 37 the bible speaks about the valley of the dry bones the bible says while there was what was called the valley of the dry bones something significant happened what happened ezekiel went into the valley he saw there were dry bones all over but there is something important that happened the bible says as ezekiel saw dry bones all over the valley one of the things that happened when he came out of the vision god said to him ezekiel the bones you saw in the valley are actually the children of israel in real life so in the valley he saw dry bones but in the physical god says those bones you saw are people they are saying there's no more hope so whatever was happening in their lives physically was a correspondence of the reactions and the activities of things that were happening in the spirit you need to develop a spiritual life you need to be spiritually sound your spiritual senses have to be active you need to be alert to your surrounding as to activities that are happening around you spiritually number 5 dedicate make it your personal mandate personal goal that is you are developing yourself you build something that will take care of you when you no longer have the strength that you have now build something that will take care of you when you no longer have the strength that you have now i want you to listen to me one of the things you realize that is very fun about life is if you do not prepare for your future failure to prepare for your future is failure in your future if you cannot prepare for your future you would realize that there is without expectation nothing comes up without preparation nothing is done you have to begin to build something now it might take you time but by the time you reach to that edge by the time you reach to that destination by the time you reach to that place where you want to reach at least you would have built something there would have been something tangible something to look up to praise god number 6 you have to understand that life does not give you what you wish life gives you what you fight for life does not give you what you wish life gives you what you fight for and when i'm speaking about this i will really join it up to the aspect of you getting to a place where you find a mentor find someone who will mentor you you never succeed beyond where you are unless someone who knows more than what you know begins to tell you what to do you need a mentor someone who will help you reach the next place number 7 develop an attitude of gratitude A lot of people the reason why they look and seem as if they are stuck in life is because they are not grateful. 
I believe beyond any doubt that you have been helped.